on these multi-tiered response videos, I always feel like Judge Wapner from the People's Court. Y'all remember that back back in the day? Like, I know you've been sworn. I have read your complaints. <laughs> Topic at hand is the welfare. And I may have missed somebody mentioning this, so forgive me if somebody had. But um, Mr. Meister usually be pretty good about pointing something like this out. But what do you say to welfare being a hedge or protection against class warfare. Because, man, if you look at, at countries and times immemorial, all the way back to, say, the French Revolution, if not even before, whenever there's been a, a quote, peasant revolt, the purposes of those peasant revolts or the reason for those peasant revolts has been starvation and the the lack of food or privation is one thing that really points out the differences in classes, you know, the abundances versus the have-nots. So my guess or my opinion is that in 1964, in times of great trial and tribulation, when America was even closer to the verge of civil war than what it is now, somebody came up with a bright idea of just how much do we have to give in order to keep bellies full enough and the system full enough and the safety net high off the ground enough that we don't have to worry about the peasants coming up to our our castle on the hill with the torches and the pitchforks. So I, I think about that quite a bit because also when it comes to taxation, the tax code and everything else, it always seems um, brilliant that they have figured out seemingly how much they could possibly charge and get away with it and still do everything that they want to do. Now, I will say, now this is to Mr. Audacity, that goes along with our argument against uh, Tim Pool's thing where it's uh, um, maleficence, maleficence versus incompetence. Um, some of the tax code stuff is just brilliant where they have have figured out just exactly how much can can somebody be fleeced and and not balk, not actually protest. Because what would they do if all of a sudden everybody decided not to pay taxes? Same thing, and, and, and so on the other side of that is just how much do you have to spend to get by to make sure that people aren't starving to death or their grandma's not starving to death. So those are my thoughts, and um, hope everybody's doing good. It's a good topic. I definitely, uh, I definitely get the gist of, uh, from y'all, other people, you don't like your tax dollars going to to those programs necessarily. I'm not saying that in a way that makes you um, be like you're, you're hard hearted or anything. I don't, I don't believe that for an instant, but uh, those systems being corrupt and abused and everything, definitely, definitely easy to complain about and easy to, easy to find fault with. All right. Catch you all in the next video.